Today, we are looking at the least demanding activity we've ever covered on the show. It also happens to be one of my favourite pastimes. So, stay alert and try not to nod off. As doing so can be embarrassing... ..and quite painful. I am exhausted just watching that. In fact, I might have a power nap. Apparently, the correct term for a doze lasting up to 30 seconds is a micro-sleep. I can just about squeeze one in while you learn about the science of nodding off. When people enter sleep, their body and muscles relax. Keeping your head up requires engaged muscles. So while a person sleeps, the head starts to fall under its own weight. The movement is sudden, so it wakes the person up, they re-engage their muscles to reposition their head, they drift to sleep again, and the cycle repeats itself. That's better. Any parent will tell you kids need more sleep than adults. If they're made to keep to an adult's timetable, they can easily become sleep deprived. But one thing this kid won't be deprived of is ice cream. As he falls asleep, his neck muscles relax, which causes his head to fall, waking him up, and for a few moments, he's just about conscious enough to eat before falling asleep again. This little fella, just like all of us, will spend a third of his life asleep, approximately 25 years. But he's not letting it get in the way of snack time. Do be careful, this can be a choking hazard. I once visited the call centre at my bank and she looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, I knew I recognised her. There are five distinct stages of sleep. The first has you transition from consciousness to light sleep. Like that. Yeah, that's fixed it. Nobody, nobody will notice that at all. It's fine. Monks are renowned for mastering their physical bodies to achieve spiritual enlightenment. But this little fella hasn't quite got the hang of it just yet. He's falling into micro-sleep, 3 to 30 seconds of bliss, during which external stimuli are not perceived. I'm exactly the same when I meditate at home. This chap looks like he's officiating a swimming competition. He'll need to keep a sharper eye than that. Come on, sleepyhead. Well, that's one way to freshen up. As our official enters a deeper sleep state, his body and muscles relax, so his head starts to fall under its own weight. This pulls his centre of mass outside his base of support, and he drops off. The edge of the pool. He'll be totally refreshed when he finally surfaces. Can you guess what science this wrestling class will demonstrate with their takedowns? Did you guess what science Coach Salter's class are about to show us? No, not them. Them! Yes, that's right, it's turning effect. Our wrestler, let's call him Wrestler A, grabs one of his opponent's legs instead of both, leaving Wrestler B able to reposition himself and apply a horizontal force back at Wrestler A. So when Wrestler A applies a horizontal force near his opponent's waist, Wrestler B provides an opposing horizontal force on the floor, <laughs> creating a turning effect. Easy as ABC. 